Welcome in and off the top of 10 as war continues in Gaza. Protesters are making their voices heard here at home. And that includes at Union Station tonight in Northeast, where a pro-Palestinian rally lasted for more than three hours tonight. Josh Rosenthal live at Union Station with more. Josh. Yeah, guys, the protest, which largely happened behind me, has broken up. However, something left behind, something that we've seen elsewhere, take a look, these handprints that they're now trying to wash off of these walls. Hundreds gathered in front of Union Station Friday, demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. I'm Palestinian. I'm from Gaza originally. I'm Palestinian American. I just lost five, five members of my family last week. I hope their blood is, 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 is not gone for nothing. This protest, including speeches and chanting, one of many we've seen recently, including at the nearby headquarters of the DNC on Wednesday. And it stands in contrast to the thousands who expressed support for Israel at this rally in D.C. on Tuesday. Many of us lost people that we love. Half of the population of Jews live in Israel, and we're a small community. At Union Station, police preemptively blocked the main entrance, but travelers were still able to get in and out, including, police said, after protesters moved closer to the open entrance. Amtrak told riders to allow for extra time. Metro trains temporarily skipped the station, and by about 8 p.m., most protesters had left, while these red handprints were left behind. And D.C. police tell us they did make several arrests tonight for defacing property. Guys.